Well guys, it looks like Taylor Hall has come out and, and told everyone why he signed with the Buffalo Sabres to end all the confusion from last night. One of the big reasons why was I was one, one of the ones that I assumed anyways, and it looks like I was right on, was Ralph Kruger, that he because he played with him in Edmonton back in the shortened season of 2013. And he brought up a story of when they were getting on the plane to go back to Edmonton, and, and Ralph Kruger said something that really stood out to him, and that was, how are you doing? And that just goes to show that, you know, even if you say something as a coach that small, something maybe Ralph Kruger at the time didn't even think much about, it's something that really that Taylor Hall said really lasted with him. And it's not always talking about hockey with that player and stuff like that. It's just as simple as how are you doing, asking them how they are as a person right now, how they're feeling, how what their mood's like, stuff like that. I think that goes a long way for coaches. And I've always liked coaches that want to be your friend as a fan. So I can imagine how much more as a player and for a player like Taylor Hall as well. And the theory of Taylor Hall wanting to sign with a contender and winning now, he was a guy who was saying, oh, he wants to be on a team that's going to win now. He's looking for an opportunity to win. That doesn't really sound like maybe it was the case last night, judging by his comments too. Also going on to say that him and his agent looked at every team in the league and what it would be like to play there. And Buffalo seemed like a good fit for him. So this means he was looking at every team in the league like, every team in the league i mean the detroit red wings the ottawa senators the los angeles kings the san jose sharks you know all the bottom feeders from last year pretty much and now that's not to say that he was actually seriously thinking of signing with any of those teams that i just mentioned right now i think it's just him and his agent doing their due diligence perhaps but i think at the end of the day taylor hall felt buffalo obviously was the right fit and he also knows some players on that team. He know he's been around Jack Eichel. He says he's a great person. Obviously, we all know he's a great player just from watching him. He thinks Eric Stahl has a lot left to give as well. He's worked out with Jeff Skinner out in the summer times too, so he knows some guys there. And for me, this almost feels like. For Taylor Hall, maybe this was more of an emotional move, but he didn't want to commit full on and, and do a, a full like six or seven year deal with the Sabres, but just one year to see, because I do think he wants to win, but he also, he has that emotional attachment, sounds like to some of these guys like Ralph Kruger, the coach, obviously, and he knows some of the players, as I've just mentioned, but I think with Taylor Hall, he wanted, like I said, he wants to maybe try it out in Buffalo and see if they're going to be a good team and see if he can win with good people people that he, he has a good relationship with. And I think that's a really interesting way of, of, of looking at it. And I think that's a really interesting article I just read about Taylor Hall going to the Buffalo Sabres. And I know fans maybe don't want to hear this sometimes, but you do need good people to win. Now, first and foremost, you need great players to win, obviously. But I think it's almost just as, if not as important, to have great people too. And I think Taylor Hall feels he's found the fit here. He also mentioned that owners Terry and Kim Pagula are, are committed to winning. Uh, Kevin Adams, the GM, is committed to winning. Obviously, he knows the coach, as I mentioned earlier. So these are all attractive things that got Taylor Hall over to Buffalo. And it's going to be really interesting. I mean, again, like I said last night, does this make the Sabres a playoff team now? And if you have that, that good chemistry, not only on the ice with players, but off the ice too, you have great chemistry with the coach. He also said, Taylor Hall did, that he feels he, he had a great season under Ralph Kruger in a shortened action in, in a 48-game season back in 2013. And he says, now maybe we'll find out how, if my progression would have been better in Edmonton had Ralph stayed the coach as he said he always wondered what would happen if he had stayed head coach of the Edmonton Oilers but we'll find out Ralph Kruger sounds like a really great guy though I, I mean he sounds like a guy players would want to go through a wall for I, I obviously don't know him personally but it, like I said players talk really highly of him and that's a great thing to have if you're a head coach well, guys, that's my assessment as to what Taylor Hall has told us as to why he signed with the Buffalo Sabres. I think he cleared up a lot of speculation and whatnot. There were some stuff I speculated that he did say, you know, was true, obviously, by reading that article. But that's all I have to say for now. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.